OTS crew, what is hey. going on, y'all? I hope all is good in the neighborhood. Yes. Y'all, we're getting ready to do some, um, we're going to do some roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. We're going to do uh, some um, sauteed green beans. Yes. And we're also going to do some quinoa, a stir fry quinoa. This is quinoa we get from our local farmer's market. Yeah, this yeah. is, we use this sometimes instead of rice because this is not a rice, it's a grain. This is a super grain with all kind of vitamins in there. So quinoa is good if you're yes. going on a cut back, a diet, or if you're going vegetarian, mm -hmm. quinoa is the best. So we're going to make a stir fry quinoa. Yes. But before we get into that, let's get into this prayer. Yes. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, God. Yes, we Lord. magnify you and yes. only you. Yes, God, we thank you for our life, our health, and our strength. Yes, we thank you for what you have done for us thank and what you're going to do for our MTS crew. Yes. God, we thank you for being on the wake-up list yes. this morning, God. We just thank you for thank everything you. in yes, Jesus' Jesus. name and bless our MTS crew. Bless okay, Amen. so I marinated, a chick I marinated this chicken two days ago. And this is what I used to marinate my chicken. It's Laurie Steakhouse marinade, and they also have the um the lemon. But I wanted the steakhouse flavor on this chicken, and we also have the lemon pepper marinade. Y'all, these are wonderful. You have got to try them. And the way we marinate, we usually put the chicken in a, a gallon bag. If you have the gallon bag, mm -hmm. and you go ahead and put that chicken in the gallon bag. Put your marinade on there and kind of swish it around and put it in the refrigerator for about two days, three days. Or sometimes we, uh, when we buy chicken, we go ahead and clean it and wash it mm -hmm. and pour the marinade on it and go ahead and freeze it. So when we get ready to uh, throw it out, it's, it's already clean, already seasoned. So yes. this is what we use, this steakhouse, y'all. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. It is good. Oh, did you say hey, Sister Pam? Hey. Hey, y'all. She said, hey. Okay, y'all, what I did was I didn't use the bag on this one. I used this container. And uh, what I what I did was I put a whole chicken in here. And I just, uh, I put it in there a few days ago. So what I would do whenever I would go in the refrigerator, I would take it and just turn it upside down like that to get that marinade all good in there. So, and I'm going to put it in my Dutch oven and put this chicken in the oven. Okay. Okay. This is the chicken, y'all. It smells good. It smells mm -hmm. delicious, yes. y'all. It smells delicious. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our chicken. Put it in the Dutch oven. And y'all, do not, may I have a cloth? Mm -hmm. Do not discard your marinade. Just take your marinade and just pour it all over your chicken. And let that cook in there. And just take and kind of massage it over a couple of times. Okay. This is how it looks. Okay. We're not going to put, I'm not going to put any onions or anything in there because the seasoning is already in it. So I'm going to cover it up. We're going to put this in the oven on about 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or until the chicken is good and tender. You know, I love this Dutch oven because it make, it holds the juices in and uh, uh, your your meats would be tender. Y'all, this is cast iron. So this thing, I can hardly pick it up. This is cast iron, so it's gonna hold that, hold that steam in there. So we're gonna put this in the oven. And uh, I'm gonna take it out to the stove and we're gonna do our quinoa and our green beans. Oh, I forgot to tell you, whenever you're dealing with chinois, the grain is way smaller than rice. You're not going to be able to use a regular rice strand for this. So I bought a chinois. I've had this for years and years. And see how small the holes are on that? So when this is cooked, it puffs up so it won't go through 
this chamois. So if you're going to do this because you have to rinse it off just like you do rice. So if you're going to use this, just get you a strainer with smaller holes. Okay. So we're going to put this on and let it cook. We're going to um, let this cook maybe for about 12 to mm -hmm. 15 minutes mm -hmm. and you cook it just like you cook rice on top of the stove and when it's done we're going to go ahead and strain it and let it sit there in the sink and then i'm going to use it to in my stir fry okay y'all we're getting ready to saute our green beans we're not going to boil them i like to saute mine so i'm going to use grapeseed oil About two tablespoons full of grape seed oil, I'd say. Okay. I have a chicken bouillon cube. I'm going to take that chicken bouillon cube and just break that up in there. Okay. The grease is going to kind of dissolve it anyway. It's kind of turn it up for a minute. Okay, so you don't put any salt in there. Any. So I'm going to go ahead and add my green bean and onion. These are the hook green beans, so I just don't, I don't like breaking them up too small. I like them just like this. Add about a half of teaspoon of pepper. We're going to add about, let's see how much is this. One fourth cup of Italian dressing. And sometimes I'll add a little bit more Italian dressing. I'm going to add about a half a cup of water in there. And I'm going to put the top on this and let it steam. We'll be back to check on these in a minute. When you cook your beans like this, it don't take them long to uh, to cook. And if you taste them and you want to add a little more salt to them, you can. But this is the way that I cook our green beans. We still like the crunchiness on them, in them. I don't like them to be overly done. So... I'm going to let them cook down just a little bit more. Okay, y'all. The green beans are about ready. This is how we like our green beans. And we're going to remove them from the uh, eye. And we're going to let them steam a little more, but not on the stove. But this is how... I make my green beans. And if you want to add a little more uh, dressing on them, just go ahead. Add a little bit more on there. If you like that tanginess, we like the tangy green beans. So the green beans are ready, y'all. Kimwa stir fry. Grapeseed oil.
green peppers, purple onion. Spinach and mushrooms. Beef base. Just about ready, y'all. Your uh, mushrooms and your spinach, they make them that they have enough moisture in them so you don't have to put any water in here. Let's push this back and get ready for the quinoa. This is the quinoa. This is the grain. Add this in there. This is a superfood. Reduce your heat. And this is your healthy burst version of rice. Brain. It's, it's delicious, y'all. So at this part, if you want to taste it and make sure you have enough seasoning in it, you can. I'm going to taste it.
I'm going to put about a half teaspoon, not quite a half teaspoon of salt. Okay. This is your quinoa stir fry. Y'all, the chicken is ready. It cooked for about uh, 45 minutes and I uh, had it on 350. And uh, what I did was I kind of kept it basted with that uh, marinade sauce. This is absolutely delicious, y'all. Let's make our plate. Okay, y'all, dinner is ready. Y'all, this is going to be good. I took that chicken out of the oven. It is mm -hmm. so tender yeah. and so juicy in that Dutch oven. And I let it cook for 45 minutes. Might be a little bit over, but you know, cook your chicken till it's tender, not dry. I don't, I don't like dry chicken. And then my quinoa... What I put in there was red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, green bell peppers, mushroom, onion, and spinach. That's in the, the uh, quinoa. So, y'all, I'm going to show you my plate. Then Sister Pam going to fix her plate, yes. and we're going to sit down at the table and eat. Yes. Okay, y'all, this is it. The quinoa. The chicken, the green beans. I feel like this is a healthy meal and we didn't have the rice, so it's going to be good. I'm going to taste it. You ready? You back, sister said she's not ready to make her mm -hmm. play. Okay. But I want to taste, y'all. I want to show you how tender this chicken is. It's good and tender. It's good and tender, y'all. That's tender. It looks tender, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Look, the other skin. This is the chicken, y'all. It is juicy. Y'all, so good. Delicious. Mmm. That steakhouse seasoning is good. And y'all, we love this quinoa. Mm -hmm. Last year, we ate strictly vegetables and no meat. A like very little meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we had vegetables and we had quinoa. This is a filler. Good, y'all. So we're going to enjoy our meal. This chicken. So y'all try that. What a steakhouse seasoning. Try that. And just melt in your mouth. Try that steakhouse seasoning. They have... Many different flavors, but this is the flavor we use. And we also use the lemon. You can use the lemon pepper flavor. You don't have to get it. So you can use the lemon pepper flavor. Marinate your chicken a day or two. You don't have to put anything on it. Put it in the oven and voila. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all. Dinner time. It's dinner time. Yes. Ding, ding. Thank y'all. Thank you, God, for this meal that yes. we're about to receive yes. in nourishment of our body. Amen. Amen. And do us a favor, y'all. Be good to yourself. And if you be good to yourself, you have no other choice but to be good to others. Do me a favor. Take this hand. Pat yourself on the yes. back. And 
MTS crew, I want you to be encouraged. Yes. I want you to be encouraged today. You know, I want you to know yes. that you are the apple of God's eye. Yes. And every hair on your head is numbered. He know who you are, where you came from, and where you're going. Yes. He knows this already. Yes. We were predestined to be here, right? Right, Amen. right. Amen. Amen. So we thank y'all. So we're going to get ready to sit the table and we're going to sit down and eat our healthy meal. Yes. Bye, right. y'all. Bye. Enjoy. Look, like, share, and subscribe. Y'all, like, share, and subscribe this video. Watch the video to the end. Mama mm -hmm. T would appreciate that. Watch the video to the end. Like, share, and subscribe this video. And tell your friends about it. And maybe they want to know how to make the quinoa mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, tell your friends about Mama T. I appreciate y'all. Yes. I appreciate all my new subscribers. The link down below. Yvonne Cataboo. I, I please don't please forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, but uh, uh, she she will help you get your YouTube channel yes. together. She is a sweet person, so look her up, y'all. Her all her links are down below. Her her music, um, uh, Evanity Star TV, all that is down below. So look her up, hit her up if you need help with your channel. Okay, bye bye, y'all. See y'all later.